Hi, the purpose of this recording is to help you to visualize definition of convergent sequence and then demonstrate to you algebraic manipulation on definition of convergent sequence. To illustrate this, I will try to help you visualize the sequence a sub n equal to 1 plus 1 over n square where n equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on, natural number. Then we know that the limit of a n as n goes to infinity is equal to 1. By definition, it means that for every epsilon greater than 0, there is an x such that absolute value of a n minus 1 will be less than epsilon if n greater than x. which means a sub n minus 1 will be less than epsilon and greater than minus epsilon if n greater than x and rearrange it, it means a n between 1 plus epsilon and 1 minus epsilon if n greater than x. So for different epsilon, we get different x. If epsilon is equal to 0 0.1, what is the suitable x? We are examining this using a sequence diagram. I have the sequence diagram plotted here where my a sub n is equal to 1 plus 1 over n square. And this sequence diagram have two horizontal lines. The red line represents y equal to 1 plus epsilon where epsilon is 0 0.1 and the dotted line below here is y equal to 1 minus epsilon and I have plotted the a n so for example this a 10 is around here and this is a 20 n equal to 20 and we notice that after n equal to 21 we find that the sequence for within the yellow band bounded by two boundaries y equal to 1 plus 0 0.1 and 1 minus 0 0.1. That means that if epsilon is equal to 0 0.1, we know that a n will be less than 1 plus 0 0.1 and greater than 1 minus 0 0.1 if n is greater than 20. We can verify this also from the table of a n. We can see that for n greater than 20, that means n equal to 21, 22, 23 onwards, all the an has the value less than 1.1 and greater than 0.9. So this is how we visualize the definition of a convergent sequence. Okay, then how do we find the x by algebraic manipulation? We know absolute value of an minus 1 less than epsilon means 1 plus 1 over n square minus 1 less than epsilon which means 1 plus 1 over n square minus 1 is between epsilon and greater than minus epsilon adding 1 to both sides of the inequality I get we have 1 minus epsilon is less than 1 plus 1 over n square and less than 1 plus epsilon so since epsilon is small, so if epsilon is less than 1, then we can take the square root. So therefore, square root of 1 minus epsilon is less than 1 plus 1 over n and less than square root of 1 plus epsilon. And, and subtracting 1 on both sides, I have 1 minus epsilon minus 1 less than 1 over n, that's 1 plus epsilon minus 1. Now, so there are two inequality here. Notice that square root of 1 minus epsilon minus 1 is automatically satisfied. For n equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so there is no concern for us. So we only have to worry about the right-hand side. Now, how about 
the right hand side. Now apply reciprocal rule to the right hand side. This is the same as n greater than 1 over square root of 1 plus epsilon minus 1 by reciprocal rule. So if we put epsilon equal to 0 0.1, then n must be greater than 1 over square root of 1.1 minus 1. That means n must be greater than 20.48. So, n is equal to 21, 22, 23, 24, and it agrees with the observation we made from the sequence diagram. From the sequence diagram, we observe that a n will fall inside the yellow band that is between 1.1 and 0 0.9 if n is greater than 20. And we get the same result by algebraic manipulation. That is the end of this recording.